New York City has been well known for its stunning skyline for nearly a century. The amount of skyscrapers in the city is higher than that of the vast majority of other cities in the world, especially after the recent year's construction boom, which brought many new super tall towers to the city. As of 2022, the city has 16 buildings built that are higher than 1,000 feet. The number is only second to Dubai, which has 25 such buildings. Aside from those completed or topped out towers, New York also has a large number of skyscrapers under construction or planned, and lots of them are over 1,400 feet tall. Hello, and welcome back to our channel, Future Planet. In today's video, we will discuss about New York's tallest skyscrapers of the future. Before we continue, take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Future Planet, for more amazing videos just like this one. So without any further ado, let's begin. Number 7, 15 Penn Plaza. Also known as Penn 15 and Vornado Tower, the building actually shares the same block with the Empire State Building, and with a height much taller than the observation deck of the Empire State Building. If built, it could make a considerable influence on this iconic skyscraper. For this reason, the owner of the Empire State Building had once requested the city council to reject the proposal, but the request was denied and the project got approved. However, due to financial difficulties, the construction hasn't begun yet. As of 2022, demolition work on the existing building on the site is underway. The building will contain 430 units on 68 floors and 2 million square feet of floor space. Despite only having 68 floors, it is planned to be 1,270 feet tall. Furthermore, the completion is expected at the end of this decade. The building was originally designed by Cesar Pelli and then redesigned by Norman Foster. Number 6, 270 Park Avenue. JP Morgan Chase announced in early 2018 that they will demolish the existing building of their headquarters at 270 Park Avenue and rebuild a super tall tower on the site. In October 2018, British architecture firm Foster & Partners was chosen to design the tower. The height was reported to be 1,388 feet. It will stand 500 feet taller than the bank's old building and have room for 14,000 employees, compared with 3,500 at the original. The full block skyscraper will also have 2.5 times more ground level public outdoor space than its predecessor. Monumental triangular braces, which are now visible at the site, will lift the actual building 80 feet off the ground, creating a view corridor from the Park Avenue entrance through to Madison Avenue. Construction has already started in 2021 and the completion date is due by the end of 2025. Number 5, 80 South Street. 80 South Street is a proposed residential skyscraper in the financial district of Manhattan, New York City that has been planned since the early 2000s. The original proposal for the skyscraper released in 2003 was designed by renowned Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava and was canceled in 2008 as a result of a declining real estate market. A new shorter design was planned to be finished in 2016. Meanwhile, China Oceanwide Holdings Limited acquired 80 South Street in March 2016. The total scope for 80 South Street is expected to encompass an eventual 1 million square feet of development with about half of that being residential. The remainder would be commercial, likely including a substantial hotel component. Although the developer hasn't released construction plans yet, the building is expected to be 113 stories tall, reaching an impressive height of 1,438 feet. Number 4, Tower 5th. In January 2019, the developer who built the skinny super tall at 432 Park Avenue proposed a new super tall to be built in Midtown, New York. The Tower 5th would be built adjacent to the St. Patrick's Cathedral, not far from 432 Park Avenue. Climbing 1,556 feet above Manhattan, the 1.3 million gross square foot tower creates a new paradigm for how a super tall structure meets the street and interacts with its neighbors. Tower 5th is wrapped in an innovative, energy-efficient, closed cavity facade system which reduces solar heat gain by more than 70%. It will be the first development of this type of system in North America. There's no word on when the construction will begin, but the developers expect the construction will be completed before 2030. Number 3, 175 Park Avenue. Also known as Project Commodore, this tower will replace the 26-story Grand Hyatt, New York which was originally named the Commodore Hotel. The proposal for the tower was first announced in November 2020. The height was initially planned to be 1,646 feet, but was reduced to 1,575 feet. 
The project received approval in December 2021, and the tower is set to replace the current Grand Hyatt Hotel, as mentioned. The project will accommodate a new Grand Hyatt on its upper floors, and the middle and lower floors are mostly office space. 175 Park Avenue will stand on the other side of the Grand Central Terminal. From the 1,401-foot-tall 1 Vanderbilt and adjacent to the Chrysler Building, construction on the project will begin in 2026, while the tower is expected to be completed before 2030. Number 2. Affirmation Tower Affirmation Tower is a 95-story skyscraper proposed to be built next to the Hudson Yard. It is a 1,663 feet tall skyscraper that expands five times, making the upper levels appear much larger than the lower ones. To make it simple, it's like inverting a traditional building, leaving it on the support of the narrowest part. Apparently, trust is the name of the game, and the Affirmation Tower is aptly named for one who needs some profound faith to walk into those doors with the belief that it will always stand. The building will include two hotels, office space, an ice skating rink, and an observation deck. At least 15,000 permanent jobs will be created, drawing in more than $5 billion in new tax revenue for the city, and also the state over 30 years. Moreover, with a team of 80% black-owned entities, the Affirmation Tower will become the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere once it's erected. The project currently is in the development phase and set date for the completion of this project has yet to be released. Number 1. Edison Tower The Edison Tower, dreamed up by German developer Frank Yendrusk, will reach nearly 4,300 feet. The idea is to create an all-in-one space with residences, offices, shopping, and recreation. Yendrusk aims to build the tower by 2030. First proposed in 2015, the base of the building will be one square mile dwarfing any building at that time. With its unique shape, the core of the Edison Tower will act similarly to a solar updraft tower, using the flow of hot air to turn internal turbines. Along with photovoltaics, it'll produce power for the building. Furthermore, elevators will not use cables but run on magnetic tracks and will not only run up and down but sideways in the building. It will be a multi-use building with interior parks, shops, and businesses. The Edison Tower will be a vertical city, bringing together people and businesses in one space. We really hope that by 2030, this massive skyscraper will be completed. The Edison Tower will be the greatest of all time in terms of its height and technology if completed. The tower will be an incredible asset for those who visit and will yield many benefits for the city. We all know that the skyscraper race is an ongoing competition between developers. Over the last century, skyscrapers have become the foremost symbol of a city's economic and social status. They are now the sole symbols of status, power, and achievement. As we know, New York is obsessed to win this race to build the world's tallest building. So with that, our video has come to an end here. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We always love to read out your comment. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel, Future Planet, and hit the bell icon so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.